we've spent some time demonstrating that KGTP works or the clinical utility. Um, and, and this is something people have, uh, they in general wonder, you know, how do we know if it works? And it involves two uh, steps. The first is that we've shown that DNA from an embryo gives equivalent accuracy to the results we obtained from an adult. And so what that means is that whatever performance we see in adults can be uh, expected in the embryo. We have equivalent genotyping accuracy. It's the genotypes that we're actually using to make predictions. And so we can use adults to model what we have in terms of performance with embryo selection. And to do that, what, what we do is the second step to evaluate performance in adult siblings with known disease status. First, we blind the individual's uh, phenotypes so their disease status. We can perform random selection of one of the siblings and then also uh, perform genomic or polygenic risk-based selection of one of the siblings. After we've conducted both sets of selection, you can unblind the phenotypes and compare the two groups for prevalence of disease. And so for example, that's what we did here with 2,601 uh, siblings with uh, known type one diabetes status. And blue, you see what, what uh, random selection produced in terms of disease prevalence. And in orange, uh, the polygenic risk score selection 